you had a question regarding upgrading from an Eero to a Unify, which I want to hear much more on. Per the above rant, I would love to have separate networks, VLANs, for my home use, guests, IoT devices, and work computer access to keep security clean. Can you extend your response to discuss the best options out there, Unify, etc., which make it easy for a non-network geek to set up separate channels for your Wi-Fi needs? I actually need the answer to this question, too, because this has been daunting me. Thanks, as always, for the fun and useful pod and i hope pete's daughter made it home yeah i i believe everything worked out okay with with all those flights that were going on during the last episode yep um so looking for the non-geek way to set up vlans for iot devices my advice remains there isn't one don't do it um (laughs) but in fact i would expand and use that same answer. I mean, there is ways, there are ways to do this, of course, but my advice would remain the same to people who want the very geeky way of doing this. And that is, don't do it. I, IoT devices often need, you need to connect directly to them for management or like a printer, for example, you need to correct connect directly to it to to print to it. I, I've seen more headaches caused by segmenting one's network than security issues or, you know, disasters avoided. It's very rare that we hear of an I, especially these days now of an IOT device, you know, running rampant on your network and doing all the bad security things and all that stuff. I, I, so I don't, I don't run separate VLANs. I know many of you do. And, and I, I, I like not only welcome, but encourage the feedback about this, because if I'm missing something, I definitely want to be educated on this, but it, it just seems like more trouble than it's worth to have to, to choose to manage separate networks for your IOT devices versus other things especially with all the home automation stuff that we do. It's, it's just so handy to have everything all on one network. So that that's my advice and answer. It might not be what you were looking for, <laughs> it, <laughs> but it, but that said it, you know, if you have a, uh, a router that will let you set up a separate Wi-Fi network, like a guest network or something like that, you certainly could connect your IOT devices to the guest network they are going to be segmented and and protected on that and and really if you must that would be the non geek way to set up another network for your iot devices is to just put them on your guest network and 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 be done with it so that that would be that would be one non geek way the other non geek way would be to set up a just add another router and have them all connect to that and have that compartmentalized yeah. off of your network too so yeah. If you do, what do that, you think? If you, yeah. Well, okay. So I have a question about that. So uh, I, I think that's, that's great advice. Uh, I, I, I'm curious how that works. So if I put all of my IOT devices on my guest network, I'm assuming because there's a internet access point, say for my, at least for my home kit, I just don't know how this works with other, other devices. Like, can I still control those devices from my main that my phone and my home pods and stuff that are on my main network, you know, through S lady and all that other stuff, or am I having to switch networks to right. control my IOT devices? I guess that's, that'd be my question. That's the headache I'm talking about avoiding. Right. So the answer is it depends with home kit. I think they, it, it, if they're Wi-Fi devices, then they need to your whatever device is talking to them needs to be able to talk to them, right? Because right. HomeKit is a local connection, uh, and and certainly you can have like an Apple TV or whatever or a HomePod, a HomePod. that's yeah. that's acting as the network gateway, gateway for those things. Yeah, right. But it's still talking to them locally on your network. Now, if they're Bluetooth devices, that's different. Um, for your 
cloud managed devices, which a lot of IoT devices still are, uh, not not ho- well. HomeKit devices can also be cloud managed by the vendors' apps. It's not like HomeKit right. prevents them from being cloud managed, right? It's just HomeKit works differently. But the cloud managed devices would still work fine if you put them on a guest network because you're never talking directly to the device. You're talking out and back via the internet. Right. Unless you're using something like Home Assistant, which is built to bypass the latency that is inherent in going out and back to the internet. And it sort of just knows how to talk directly to your devices. And that's one of the things that people love Home Assistant for is that it's so fast to access your devices because Home Assistant runs on like a Mac or a Raspberry Pi or a Synology or something locally. And it's only talking locally to your devices. It's not going out and back to the cloud. So you get that really responsive thing, which can matter with like light switches and things like that. If you've got a smart switch, you push it. You don't want to have to wait. Even half a second feels weird until you're used to it. For a light to come on, you know, you touch it and boom, it responds right away. So 